Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. And in this video, we will take a look at VeChain, give you a little price update. I think there's some important things we should pay attention to with the price charts and stuff. I'm going to take you through it, talk a bit about the news as well. If this sounds interesting to you, please drop that like, give me a subscribe if you're new watching, and I'll dive into this. But before I do so, I need to let you know, I am not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market, so please always do your own research before investing any money. That being said, I know it just feels horrible, didn't it? <laughs> well, I don't even want to laugh, but it, it's either you cry and be pissed off all day, or you just accept that. What we're going through right now is a price drop, and it's a big price drop. You're talking 25% down on VeChain, and it's you know it's happened across the entire market. And you know if you if you missed it and you're new to my channel, please watch this video here. You know because I'm starting to do a little bit on the crypto news side of things. I believe it's all because of what happened over in China. You know they're closing down the the, the miners in China, and it's affecting the price. And we all know when you know Bitcoin comes down. The rest of the altcoins tend to hit just as hard, right? And you can see that here, you know, like 27% down over the week for Bitcoin. And look, you know, uh, Binance coin, all these others are in like the 30s and the 40%, so look, 40, 40. So it tends to hit harder with the uh, altcoins when Bitcoin falls down. You can see VeChain 43%. But the real question is, how long is it going to keep going down for? Now, you have to remember, right? And, and this is really, really hard when you see prices go up. And I, and I know I've been there. When you see prices go up and, you know, you've invested. It doesn't matter where you invested. You invested into some like VeChain and you've seen it go up really high and you didn't take profits because you think it's going higher. Then all of a sudden it switches on you and falls down. It is. It can be frustrating. It can make you worry. It can make you panic. And you see a lot of sell-offs, mainly due to the fact that, uh, well, first of all, it's new people coming into the space. And because if you look at the long-term perspective, you you actually see a lot of long-term investors right now buying cryptocurrency. And that you know that's true. You can check out Glassnode. I should have brought it up. But yeah, you know, my perspective is. How long is it going to go on for? That's what we're going to try and find out. And is this really a good time to be selling? Because the, the way I look at it is like when you look at this chart here, you you know, if you didn't sell at the top because, you you know, you thought it was going higher, you're already down, what are we, look, about 76%, right? Now, for me, because I'm a long-term investor, and this is what I really want to, you know, to try and get like in your head like to really like, focus on because right now it is bloody and dark and well blood <laughs> red it is red in the in the crypto charts and people are panicking and they think it's all just going to collapse again and it is hard to change that mindset but when you look at this chart i'll tell you what i see right first of all let's just really dive in because you know i've done the fibonacci you can see the different colors yeah I'm trying to find support areas and stuff and yep it broke the it broke this 200 day moving average which is the red line and the yellow line is the 21 day moving average because i'm just looking to see obviously the mem the downwards momentum is obviously going to bring the price down a v chain on top of bitcoin falling as well you know but for me i think you know v chain has to sort of hold this space here uh in order to really work out if we're going to see a good if this is like a bottom because you know the last time v chain came down was here and it, and it got bought up fast you can see and then the second time and it got bought up if it can remain above this red line, which is, uh, I'm just going to put a little line there just to see what I'm talking six, six, six cents, point six, six, point zero six, six. If it can, you know, remain above there, then maybe V chain could see some good upside action in the future. Now, remember this. And this is why I brought up the RSI as well. For those who are new watching don't understand what the RSI is, Relative Strength Index, it's great to see when prices are overbought and oversold. And if you look at this chart, anywhere above this dotted line, because you've got this whole sort of like purpley, bluey area, which, you know, price action usually happens in between. And anytime it goes above these dotted lines, you can see that V chain is being overbought. People are buying it too much. We need to sell. And that's what people do when they trade crypto. And obviously, you can see some people here have been taking profits right up here. And look, you can, you know, this measures out perfectly with when it's been over, uh, overbought. And, you know, people took profits up here. On the RSI, it was overbought. And whenever we've seen on the opposite side now, oversold, you know, usually people buy crypto. And I just want to show you, like, 
the chart a bit further back so we can really look at an example here uh, I mean we can even use this example here and here you know because this was the last time we were over coming down towards the the, the sort of oversold ish area not massively I can see it here I'll go to that in a second but here you know it almost came to oversold here it didn't really cross the line exactly but it almost did and you can see here some price action we had you know downwards momentum but look what happened after because after the oversold you know took place the RSI started to go back up and that's you can see price movement going back up so I expect at some point you know the, the V chain price uh, is gonna face this 21 day moving average which is coming down sharply and it's gonna either reject get rejected or buy above it and I think that or buy above it <laughs> break above it I think it will break above now let's just quickly take a look at the last time we were really oversold and the last time I can see is here and you know funny enough this was back in March. I don't know why it's not showing more of the chart, but I can work with it. This was back in March. Maybe I need to change it to like ten or something. I don't know because I'm doing USD, right? Uh, this was back in March, and this was that massive price drop from uh, when we had the, the virus and stuff, right? And it came right down here. You can see the RSI dropped massively down here, and we were oversold. And if you want to be precise. You know, this went as low as uh, 13 on the oversold on the RSI. So if you're, you're someone that wants to pay attention to the RSI and think of a good opportunity to maybe buy back in, you could pay attention to the, you know, 13.91%, uh, I was going to say percent, 13.91 <laughs> uh, decimal or chart, whatever, indicator, whatever you want to call it, on the RSI numbers. And that could potentially be a good potential uh, price to bounce off of. I'm not saying it's going to go that low. Could, you know, time will tell. Um, but yeah, you know, when you're looking at the price come down, if it is to fall further, that would be a price for me to say, okay, may maybe now's a good time to buy. Because you will see a trend reversal. And, you know, the RSI speaks of it. You can see it clearly. You know, it's very standard. Things go in cycles. Prices go up. People sell you know RSI falls down RSI goes overbought oversold sorry yeah oversold and then it reverses and then it goes back up so that's what I'm looking at for I'm keeping my eye on the RSI here and um yeah that will help us understand a bit more about uh where the prices may go I still think that it's a I mean because look put it like this <laughs> many people would have loved to have bought V Chain at a cheaper price right now. And you know, I see a lot of people saying, Oh, I wish I would have bought it cheaper, I wish I could have got it cheaper. And yeah, these are people that were buying up here, you know, at like 18, what was that 18 pence? So think of it like this: you have an opportunity, and this is not investment advice, but you have an opportunity right now to accumulate some v-chain nice and cheap that's my personal opinion i mean look you're getting it like what three four times because four eight twelve you're getting it over four times the price like if you would have bought up here you'd have had to pay four times more so in theory you, this is how i look to, i like to look at things right if i was to buy v-chain now at four and a half pence when it goes back up to 18 pence because you know but you best believe it done it before it can do it again you would have made four times your money just from there to there, just from that alone. And I believe VeChain is a solid project. Now, look, we get a lot of crazy things in the news. And, you know, I've seen, like, the news stuff and people talking about how VeChain is down 20% and 25% and blah, blah, blah. But I like to focus on the important pieces of news, like this, for example. Now, this was done about a week ago on VeChain's uh, Twitter, and you can check it out. But I find it really interesting. You know, from Bay of China to the latest IVF application, uh, application in Renji Hospital, VeChain is a trial trailblazer in the blockchain industry delivering real value. And this is what VeChain's about, offering, you know, real-world usages to you know big big companies or big uh, projects like you know because this is like a, a big hospital you know pop popular hospital and they're basically trying to help the ivf and they're doing that with blockchain technology and this is what people should really be focusing on and this is why i would invest into something like vchain because you're looking at a, a solid project that's trying to change th change things in the real world 
as a real world, real world usage, right? Use case, that's the one. Take a look at the summary. Look, you, and there's another thing here where you can dive into it a bit more, which talks about it. It's called the My Baby application. It securely tracks all information associated with IVF, including imagery, pro, uh, imagery produced by uh, medical tools and the delivery of, uh, I don't know, z- what's that? Z- zygote itself? I don't, I don't know what zygote means, but, you know, the fact that VeChain has taken that step, because, you know, they, they were focusing on like, uh, brands with wine and uh, uh, what is it, luxury bags and stuff and they're just showing that how, how diverse their blockchain is and their product can be for many different resources and for me this is just a big look now it's entirely up to you what you want to do, I look long term and I have VeChain and matter of fact I, I would probably look at buying more, not investment advice but and again if you're a patron of mine you're going to know when I buy stuff but you know, and again, keeping my patrons calm through all this as well. <laughs> you know, the last few days, I like to drop them a few messages, let them know that I'm calm, staying focused. And I do, I still believe that, you know, this entire market is being manipulated by the big powers. You know, they're trying to get Bitcoin cheap. You know, they think if they can do a sell-off to make people panic and, you know, buy more, uh, sell more, then they can buy more. You know, you're getting messages, you're getting, uh, not messages, <laughs> you're getting news from people like, uh, what's it called, MicroStrategy? Buying like 100, let me see if I can find this. I'm going to f- show you this. MicroStrategy, because they just bought, uh, uh, buy Bitcoin. I'm sure they just bought more Bitcoin recently, like 100 something million, 500, let me see. Uh, here we go. Look, is this it here? What's this, what's the date on this just now? Twenty first of June. Micro Strategy now owns over a hundred thousand bitcoins worth more than three billion. Think about it. Really think about it. Why would a company spend hundreds of millions of pounds if they if you know if the crypto is just gonna die out? Think about that. There's a reason because you know. They're looking long term. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to look long term and say to yourself, you know, 189 million, 13,000 tokens. Say to yourself, what is the long term goal? What is your goal? Because like I said, for me, you know, there's no point selling VeChain now if if you didn't sell it at the top, right? If you didn't take any profits at the top, no point. I would wait for the next cycle. I'm looking at this RSI. It's going to go up. And then that would be a good time to maybe consider taking uh, prices, you know, some some profits. And, you know, if you're not subscribed to me, make sure you subscribe to me because I will show you. I will sh- I'll bring you another video just like this and show you when the RSI is higher and let you know when I think we should be taking profits. Because I think it's important to take some some form of profits when you're investing. Uh, but, yeah, um, this is the information that you should be really paying attention to. And ask yourself, if you're a long-term investor... Because, you know, some people, again, I know it's hard. It's hard, it's hard to not think long term when you're seeing prices go up and then collapse on your face. I know that. But if you if you are a long term investor like me, stick to those goals that you have. Stick to those beliefs that you have. Because I believe we will see a dollar, a dollar V chain. I believe it. And it's only a matter of time till it happens. And I'm prepared to wait that little bit longer and accumulate more at prices like this. So I can reach that goal and get more for my value, more value for my money. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there to you. Uh, you know, again, if you want to become a patron, you're welcome to do so. I have seven tiers. Take your pick. I recommend my buy sell stake alerts because you know they will see everything. And if you want to see this stuff first, because again, they, they always see it before I put it on YouTube. You're welcome to become a patron. I always drop the the patron link in my description, so make sure you check it out. Check out these videos here. You know, fake death costs and stuff. Though the ones with the blue, that with the rocket ship and the Bitcoin, those talk about the entire market overall. And these are the powerful videos that can really guide you on your journey. So yeah, uh, shout out to everyone. Look, I'm, I don't know how it's happening, but thank you very much. It's, at the time of recording this video, it says 57,000 subscribers. Truly grateful. It's mad, crazy, ludicrous, bomb to think that I've got that many subscribers. I'm so, so grateful. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I will keep delivering you good content. And yeah, let me know what you think on uh, VeChain. What do you think? Like the price and stuff, how is it to you? How do you feel about it? And yeah, because I I think this is all temporary and, you know, no one can promise you what's going to happen. But when you look at the bigger picture of things, you know, two to three years from now, we'd be looking back going, oh, I really wish I bought this dip (laughs) because essentially that's what it could be, right? A dip. Really wish I bought it while it was this price because you might be see, you might see VeChain sitting on like a pound, £2.50, $2, whatever it is. You might see that and go, really wish I bought that dip. 
Just like how people look back in the past and, you know, because, you know, people that are buying up here, right up here, they probably look at the market and go, oh, I wish I bought it right back here, right down here. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. If this was helpful to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. And shout out to you all. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you. Shout out to my patrons. I see you guys in those tiers. Really, really do appreciate you all. I actually have new patrons, and you best believe <laughs> I'm going to do a new shout out. Because, you know, I like to update them now and again. And i got to update them because there's a, a few more people. And, again, if you want to become a patron, seven tiers. Take your pick entirely up to you. They do different uh, things on the tiers. But, yeah, I'm going to do a shout-out to my patrons. <laughs> it's a long-ass list, you best believe. Because they came from a platform nine and three quarters. I keep telling you that. And these witches, wizards, and muggles are learning all kinds of stuff on here. Click on the posts if you're new. Hello, welcome in. But, yeah, <laughs> are you ready for this? You're welcome to skip it if you want, but if you want to sit here for the last, you know, you're welcome to. Shout out to Mr. T. West, Tony Nottery, Glenda, It's Time, Cora Black, SM, Marco Costanti, Michael, AJ, Fancy 63 Clarence Dennison, uh, trying to do it quickly, Clarence Dennison, Christopher Johnson, Jacob Adams, Mr. Anonymous, Stuart Chuckler, Lewis Roach, Lata oh, blah, 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 Latasha F. Carlos Watcher, Damaris, look, just get all things mixed up, I don't care, it's keeping it in, raw, fresh and organic, Samo, Stan Cox, Rahul the God, Dante Kennedy, RG, Bizzle, Max, Wisdom, Marcella Trevino, Redux Robinson, Manny Sanchez, Catherine Chung, Tyron Samuel, Stephen Edwards, Abiola, Rachel Mack, Pamela Williams, Brandon, Stacks and Racks, Riff, uh, Rick, Geoffrey Williamson, Omar Thomas, Casper Nell, Aaron Davis, CCP269, good feels nice, Dominic, Will W, hold on a minute, i got to sort out my bloody thing because I'm looking at my phone, you see, <laughs> all kind of spread all over, anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about. Peter Stoddard, Belinda Spencer, Eric Foreman, Semyon, Fatima Price, Shwanda Owens, Tana McLaren, Josh Wills, Marcel SSK, Kevin Ward, Sassavi, Michael Keel, Christopher Hoss, Christine, Peter Moser, Snowy, D. Swearing, Andrew Hardin, Eric, Kelvin, William Fox, Esther, Claudette Homiliosa, like Wingardium Levy Osa. Just float you up in the air, you know what I'm about. Shakir Hussain, Jeff Tomtich, Lamar Lee Sealy, Cody Harris, S, Daniel Hopkins, Cyril, Cyril, one of them, Alexander Foria, Gilbert Baggins, uh, Stefan, Eric Jackson, Paul Forrest, Benson, Benson Hum, Powell. Russell Cohan, Joseph Marcus, Joshua Minglona, Crypto Mac, Andrew Queen, Give Me the Gains, Videx, West A, M, Ali, Me, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> not cutting it, Mo C, Fiat Justin, Mike V, Joanna Malforvero, J, J Fave, Terry J C, Oli, Oriel Broomfield, Frank Essa, Nasa, Ignacio, just, you know, because I whacked the wand at your hand, you know, some Harry Potter spell right there, I can see it, <laughs> can you see it, G Crypto Loman 7, G, uh, Chris Chico, NM That Man, Francis Loco, Zach Adam, Mansawa, Gem, Gem de Jaguar, Marcus Gittery, Robert Loss, Exalios! Just mash up your head and your ear. <laughs> just put a bit of spell in your ear. I'll put a spell on you. Anyway, look, I'm just getting all the... Stony Mac! <laughs> what am I laughing for? John Lowe, Ken Marold, Ranjo Singh, Raffle Cooper, Krupa, sorry, Aiden, Ejiki Okori, you know, just spin you around with a little spell. Luke Ainsworth, Mr. Do Right, Anthony Berry, TRG Investments, Branko Dorosilic, Marky Cersei, Ryan Orange, Ryan Williams, Tukan, Santino, Rafa Saint Joel, Kenneth, oh, Crazy Jam, <laughs> messing up all the names, you know, because people come along the Crypto Express and they disappear on their bloody broomstick, just flying away like a sword. <laughs> I can't stop. Timothy J. Brusky, Renee, UKMC, No Name, Jack Slater, Pablo, Bradley Kim, Lena111, Sunny V, Crypto1, Ross Martino, Hani Abu, Ricardo Vinegas, Shinadu, Oscar Vilgas, Crop, uh, Crypto Moon, Nightman911 is new to you. I've got to start scrolling up now, see how many names there are. Where am I? Uh, Jackson Tepper, Francis Hernandez, Akbar, Jermaine Allen, David Adediji, Chiquita, hello, John Sandoval, Aaron Silo, Chris McClendon, Optimus Poonpage, Edgar Cortez, Ramil TV, Kirsten, Mr. Drew. Hello, SNCC, C Man and Daddy Alba, Sander Kampong. I think that's a Kampong, yeah. Joshua Asher, Dino D, Black Hate, Bob Ross. <laughs> yeah, I got to put the. Bl anyway, spit all over my phone. <laughs> oh, where am I? I've lost it. Okay, Eloy, M M Mikey, yeah. User X2019, Blackstar, Chillis Creations, Akis Voldorus. That's a sick spell. I swear your name sounds like a spell. Just. <laughs> I've got to stop. <laughs> I've been saying, can't stop, Jay. Moises D. Lopez, Michael, Joseph Mar Joseph Samara, Neona London, Chris Tap Dances. You better tap dance. Do, 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 do. Just tap dance with you, you know. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Anyway. Iris, Jack Bliss, yeah? Montreal Ammon, uh, uh, Joey J, Raj T, Liesel, Brian Reedy, Terry, Cornell Goodman, Matthew Wall. I told you there was loads. You thought I was joking, in it? If you're still watching, you best believe. <laughs> can't help it. Uh, where was I at? 
Cornell Goodman, Matthew Walker, Carlos Porter, Sarpaint Singh, Dennis Boonman, Alessandro Benini, Mark Peake, Ili- Elliot Chiu, uh, Royal ID, Teddy Barrow, Hassan P, Makug- Makuga? Makuga? Let me know. Uh, Gordon McCulloch, uh, Monica Matteo, Adam Allen, Ralph Green, Marcus Dunbar, Johnny Matthews, Michael James, Artard, yeah, Moises Gallery, Mrs. Carla V. Hello there. Uh, Rizwan, <laughs> I'm an officer. A Kings, Ice Cat Trader, Davidas, Nomentus. Just make you invisible. Quick, because he's coming. David is not meant to... Just, <laughs> I can't help it. Connie, A. Alamu. A. Alamu. You know, just switch it up, you know. <laughs> Williamson John... Hey, I can't help seeing Harry Potter spells in your names. Williamson Johnson. Anthony Donne. Uh, Karen Denick. Danick? Danick, sorry. Kimberly Gearman. All for one. One for all. Cylindale Tashima. Stefan. Coinage. Adriana Landa. PC World. Because it's PC, in it? You know. Marky 27. Dave. Chris Adlam. Crypto Newbie. Thomas Rodriguez, Goldenberg, Slow Measy, No21, Trevor Dawson, Jude Tam, Thierry, Joe Youssef. Oh my god, there's loads. <laughs> Just do. <two. sighs> Can't even get it out. <laughs> Chucks Anderson, Splurge Ultra, Arif Joy, Kevin Rodriguez, uh, Danny Rich, Elstein, Tafadzwa. I think that's right. Why is it not scoring up anymore? Uh, Memphis Denfers, Carnivore 444, Morgan Culver, Joe, Kapash Kumar, Alexis Pagan, Pagan, let me know. Seraf X, Kevin V, Crypto Hustle, Anish Patel, Aaron Nova. Two different names there. Mohammed Imran, Ankush Jane, Corey, L, uh, Mario L, <laughs> Vanessa Small, Elijah Al- Alendi. I keep getting that one wrong. Aland. Let me know. Nika Onyu. Yep. Onyu. Let me know. Uh, Moinul Hussain, Andrew Laramie, Nadine Jordan, Eddie Laform, Tony B. Eddie Laform. Yeah. Tony B. D. Wills, Riyad Midikasso. Midikasso. Yeah. Mandy Nguyen, Hash Matala, Michael Ruddy, Will, Will Brooks, John Wesley, Sura Rashid, Eamon D. Whaler, Miss Axel, Master J. I told you! I'm still going! It's that long! Just shout at the flipping... Just shout at my mic in the screen, you know. <laughs> just carry on. Okay. Daniel Brown, Leon Plast. What am I laughing for? D... <laughs> Oh, stop. DG Crypto, Adam Istvan, Theodore Wheaton, LD Vincent Millet, Mauricio, A, A- Noop N, Steve Mayer, A- Aman Rizvi, I think that's right, Jeanette, Janetta, 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 I like it, uh, Legend Charles Knight, Asa Jones, Gabriel, Gabriel Vince McDowell, McDougall, I think that's right, let me know, Duns River, uh, Carrie, Gilbert Blaggins, I'm still going, Jack got scrolled down again, it's like a bloody bumper car drive, it's all kind of, I don't know, it's like a fun fair ride, it's going up and down at that time, <laughs> well, J- <laughs> I can't stop, Jake Ross, cookie crumbs, cookie, <laughs> Christian Lee, Philip, I've got to have fun with it, you know, because I'm sitting there calling everyone's damn name, 10 minutes, Philip Staffer, fund me now, quit dive, Maha Ramadan, Fias Ahead, Finish right. Uh, Jim Harsha, Bent Henson, Daniel Grigriu. I'm starting to slow down now. Like, Idol Piper, Sherry Tay Zostek. Finish right. Dishanovation, Mustafa. Finish right. Cut the Skylark. Hold tight, DJ Skylark. We're in a place for the DJ Skylark. You best believe I drop that every time I hear your name. Liz Reed, El Bengrad, the A Team slash something else. I can't remember. Uh, Jacob M- Madaris, Landlord Morrison's. Morrison, sorry, I think that's right. Nicole's do it. Dave Catho. I'm starting to slow down. I can't help. Richard Karma, Ka- Kyle Dawson, Dennis, JP Deline. I think that's right. Deline. Let me know. V Flash, Joey Shawns, a- Akeem Banks. M- Hold on. Michelle Van Den Acker. I got your name. I know it. Rosemary Hansen, Justin Levin, Via Financial Ra- Raycorn, Mr. Pauniti, Massey, to- Tonye Adekibi, uh, Sh- Seer Coins, <laughs> Brandon. James Richards, Laurent Corvelain, Kasha Smith, Soul Seeker, Theodor- Theodis, Rossi D, Pablo Bapt- Baptista, Renton Bacco, Kevin Chack, uh, Inigo Zubriere, I think that's right, Stefan Greenfield, RGC Visual, Lee Goodwin, Jiba, Kevin, look, my bloody door's going, they got to wait, I don't care, I'm still quitting that. Kevin Konitsky, Matthew Wan, Tristan Miles, John Hung, Saif Rama, May Revel. Oh my god, there's too many. Laurie Littrop, Alicia Abagus, Ni- uh, Gima Wambugu, I think that's right. Dez, David Lang, C- Saita, I remember how you said your name. Danny, <laughs> too many. Danny Ruddick, Kenny Brook, Brooko? Let me know, Brooko, uh, Brooko, let me know. Aaron Nguyen, Nick Smith, Sandbox, Nazar, Sam Lanier, James Snowden, Tariq Rivera, and P. Pi. Let me know. That was mad. Long ass. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, but I had to do it. Thank you all so, so much. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.